Hey, Anna Jagger, and today I'm gonna talk to you about the three major areas in your life where you have to set up goals around. And we're gonna start with number one, and number one is money. Money is something that intimidates a lot of people. And if you really think about it, or think about your life or your case, there might be some fears or negative thoughts uh, around money, like it ruined your family or your parents' marriage or is the root of all evil. But the reality is that money is here to help us, period. And money is awesome. And when it comes to work, money is the ultimate performance indicator to whether you're doing a good job or not. That's the reality whether you like it or not. You can show me a goal from work and I can tie that back to perform, uh, I can tie that back to money. So, it, it, and that's awesome because when you're intentional about setting up goals that drive you to bring the money that your business needs and provides you with the freedom that you want to live your life as you prefer, then everyone benefits. So create goals understanding the money factor for your business in your own pocket. To, this is a new week, a new week. So what money goals do you need to create this week? Okay, let's move to number two. Number two is your health. I was just chatting with my friend who's on a diet and she couldn't understand why I would prefer to eat oatmeal than a burger with tons of bacon and melted cheese on it. We were exchanging uh, pictures of food. I would prefer the oatmeal all the time without a doubt of how, because of how it makes me feel afterwards. When it comes to our health, eat what you won't regret later, at least most of the time. That's my rule, and that should be your rule too. I eat a couple of chocolate chips every single afternoon with my coffee, but the rest of the meals are filled with a bunch of food that make me feel great. Uh, and also exercise regularly. Make sure you're moving and challenging your body to feel stronger. Don't focus on losing pounds, it's just about feeling stronger. And make a life commitment around that can guarantee you that you'll be leading yourself with a clear mind, a happier mood, and feeling like the hottest pe person that's walking around, you know, where you live. Uh, so when you're starting to exercise and eat better, you know, it's, it's gonna be hard at the beginning, but I promise you that your life is gonna improve 100%. Number three is you have to have goals around your mindset. Everything that happens in life starts with a thought. Think about it for a second. So if you want to improve yourself, improve your performance, be a superstar, you gotta be aware of the thoughts that are you allowing, you are allowing to run through your head. It is that simple. Now, changing all that is not easy because at the end of the day, we're all humans and we like to just do what we're used to be doing. So if you're used to complaining all the time, you're probably gonna be complaining throughout your life unless you make a decision to stop that, which requires, because we have to be honest here, a lot of mental pres presence and awareness of what you're doing at the moment, and that is what self-improvement requires. You know, I read somewhere, and please excuse me for not remembering who said this, but that you experience growth when you catch yourself a second before you're about to do something stupid and save yourself uh, from regretting your actions later. So if your mind is not, which is, I agree with that 100%, but if your minds are not producing thoughts that help you move toward great things in life, you know, it, nothing else that I've talked to you about will matter. So if you want to improve, read books that inspire you. Talk to people that can help you grow. Uh, and they're doing great in life, by the way. Don't talk to the complainers. Talk to successful people. And, and do things that make you feel better about yourself. But, because I'm gonna tell you a secret, all of us feel like that sometimes. We don't feel sexy enough or smart enough or prepared enough. The difference is what each of us do about it. Look, every time I feel, I, I don't feel my best, I follow my recipe. I, um, the first thing that I do is that I, I increase the intensity of my workouts because they clear all the fog in my head. The other thing is that I pick up a new book to read, a self-help book. The, four, the third thing I do is that I talk to one of my sister, and the fourth thing is that I try to catch up with my best friend with, over a glass of wine. But you have to figure out what works for you. This is nobody else's responsibility. It's not your boss's responsibility of, or your spouse's, it's your responsibility. So what's going on in your mind right now? What is your opinion about yourself, your team, your boss, or the place that you work at? Look, I'm happy to help, this is why I'm creating this video, but you just have to send me a direct message with a question so I can do that. 
Thank you all for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.